looking back to the Cluidians. I won't zoom in on this compact because it's not a very good zoom on it, but tiny bit of snow just there. A little bit. Looks very icy. It was ice this morning, frost. Just gone off the cars and stuff. But yeah, so I'm off for the papid. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Um, it's a, being a care of vlog. Um, I do these every so often. Um, just depends what sort of task I've got on. Um, but uh, today I'm getting the paper and then I'm, uh, I'll get back, have a cup of tea and then I'll go to, uh, got to go to Tesco I'm going to Tesco in Rithin uh, this morning, do some shopping there so you're welcome to join me, you've obviously joined me if you're watching this now but anyway, so yeah, get the paper as the usual, the usual morning and then uh, I'll be off to, uh, well, get a cup of tea <laughs> Paned, as we say in Wales, Paned um, Yeah, and then I'm off to, to Rithin So yeah, I might have a bit of a show you something a bit interesting in Rithin, if i got time So anyway, I'll see you in a minute How busy it is here. Difference to a weekday to a Sunday. If you follow my vlogs on Sunday, you'll see how quiet it is. I'm trying to cross the road. I was here for about two or three minutes. Nothing like it is on a Sunday. Right, get across the road. Yeah, see how busy it is there. normally like that on a weekday but uh, yeah so anyway got the paper paper and a cup of tea and then it's off to Rithin like I say I might uh, do a bit of a, a wander up into town to show you something bit of bit of interest like I say if I've just depends the schedule if I've got time so anyway cup of tea paned and then off to Rithin Tesco and Rithin Okay, I've got to wait this for this to bleep. I'm just using my small little Nikon, my Nikon compact camera. Uh, so yeah, I'm in the motor, I've had a cup of tea, and I'm off to Rithin, Tesco, and I'll show you a few interesting, few interesting things in um, in Rithin. I'll show you Rithin Jail, Tom Price Memorial, the uh, Mine Heil um, Stone, where King Arthur beheaded Heil, <laughs> and I'll pop it into Rithin Castle. Uh, so let's get going. Um, yeah, so off to uh, Rithin for Tesco, do some shopping, and then I'll have a wander up into to Rithin itself. Okay, so here I am in uh, Tesco in Rithin <laughs> and so I'll get the uh, shopping, get the shopping done and then I'll, uh, I'll have a quick wander into town just show you a few interesting things. Um, I'll show you the jail, Rithin jail, Tom Price Memorial and the, uh, the stone. Um, where uh, King Arthur beheaded someone and then I think I'll pop into Rithin Castle as well just have a quick, I'll just show you a quick look at that it's a bit of snow still there uh, on the side there remnants of the snow that we had so yeah this is uh, 
what I do, um, being a carer, um, many, many tasks and things I have to do. And shopping is one of them. So being that I'm in Arithin, I thought I'd do a little video and I'll, uh, do, like I say, do the shopping and I'll pop into Rithin just show you. It's a very interesting place, Rithin. I've done a lot of videos on Rithin if, you, if you're interested. Tours, walkabouts and stuff. So that's what I thought I'd do today. So I'll get the shopping done and then I'll see you in a minute. Right, so that's it. That's the shopping done. Uh, quite busy in there today too. And uh, with the club card, I saved £8.75 today. Club card prices, you've got the ordinary price and then when you scan your club card, it drops, you know, whatever, if, if you buy anything that's on offer with a club card. And uh, £8.75 knocked off, it's a hell of a lot that, isn't it? Right, so as you can see, I park, I always do, when I'm on my own, I park well out of the way. Um, I have got the use of a blue badge, but obviously when I'm on my own, it's the, uh, the blue badge that I can use, but obviously when I'm on my own, I don't use it because I'm taking the space of, you know, a disabled person I'm fit and able so when I'm on my own I don't use that I can't use it anyway but I don't so I wouldn't want to anyway I wouldn't want to you know abuse the system shall we say um, so yeah yeah it was busy in there today right <clears throat> so that's it that's the shopping done I'm now going to unleash myself on the town of Rithin I'll show you a few just a few interesting things like I say the jail Tom Price um, the uh, stoneware King Arthur beheaded he aisle um, and then I'll pop into Rithin Castle so let's get going unleash myself in, into the town of Rithin which is in that way okay yes I know I've parked in Tesco car park but I have been shopping in Tesco uh, anyway just heading my way into Rithin now, the bottom of, bottom of Rithin and uh, you have to bear with me with the quality because I'm only using a, my small compact camera so the quality might not be that good so like I said uh, I'll show you a few interesting places in uh, Rithin very, very interesting town Rithin actually um, a lot of dog walkers everywhere dog walkers all over the place so right yeah as you say if uh, you're interested in Rithin I've done quite a few walkabouts and stuff like that um, dog walker <laughs> yeah it's an interesting place well I'll just pop and show you just a few of the uh, features and stuff that you can see in Rithin quite a busy bustling place too <laughs> people stare at you it's funny I tell you you see you talking to a camera <laughs> well perhaps it's just me that's just me but uh yeah anyway just get to the bottom of this hill here and i'll work my way up to st peter's square and then uh I'll, we'll start the tour or mini tour I should say but as i say bear with me with the quality of the uh video because i'm just using a little compact quite cold too quite a cold breeze anyway see you in a minute Let's just turn off for you now. You can see part of Rithin Jail. Just there. Bit, bit there. Apparently it's been closed for quite some time. But it's just reopened recently. And they used to uh, hang the prisoners and stuff there. They used to conduct hangings in Rithin Jail. And also that's where the term, you know, the prison warders, they call them screws. And that's where they had a, a crank room in Rithin Jail there eh? and it was a crank handle and it called it the crank room and uh, what they used to do prisoners to earn food they had to crank this handle so many times 
is to time them, is to crank this handle, and then to make it harder, there was a little screw, and it's to tighten the screw, and it's to make it harder to crank. So that, and that's why the prison warders to this day are called screws. It's another dog walker. They're everywhere. I thought it was just Denby. But uh, yeah, that's why they were called screws. Because uh, you can see a part of it there. I used to crank this, get up this hill without falling over. I used to crank this handle to earn, you know, to earn food and stuff like that. And then they used to turn this screw and they used to tighten the, the crank to, to, to make it harder. So that's why they're called screws. That's where they, how they got their name. But you see the wall there. The jail behind. I'll show you from the, the, the main road. You'll see it a bit better. So that's right in jail. Where they used to hang the prisoners. All right, I'll speak to you in a minute. And you can see the sign there, hopefully. I hold it a bit close. I don't know if you can see that. It's got town centre and Rith in jail. Oh, you see it better there. Town centre and Rith in jail. I just hope these batteries will hold out. I always carry a spare because this camera is noted. It doesn't give you no warning. It just cuts out. Anyway, this is Rith in jail. That's part of it. Oh, hang on. Three it is. Yeah, it's a very interesting place, Rithin. Very historic. And as I said earlier, I've done quite a few tours and walkabouts and shown some interesting places and stuff like that. But this is it. Ian out, Rithin Jail. I don't know how much it costs to get in. Obviously, there's a fee. I don't think, don't think it's much, but uh, you can pay and you get in. You can have a wander around, and it's haunted, by the way. <laughs> Just in case I never mentioned it. So that's Rith in jail. I'll show you the Tom Price Memorial now. The only Welshman that won a Formula One race, which is just there. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, just in front of me there is the Tom Price Memorial. As I said, the only Welshman that won a, a Formula One race. You can look up, you know, the history and stuff like that. You Wikipedia it and things like that. But there he is there. It's got Welsh there and English there. But that's the uh, Tom Price Memorial. Thomas Moldwin Price. Price with a Y. P R Y C E star in the 1970s. So anyway, it's the Thomas Price Memorial. Right, further up around the corner in St Peter's Square is the mine, Heil Stone or Rock, where uh, King Arthur beheaded Heil. And that you can look that up as well if you if you want. That's not the original place. The original place, I think, was in the square, it's in the middle of the square, but they moved it, but that's the actual stone where King Arthur chopped his head off, which is just on the top there, that's St Peter's Square, so I'll show you that in two seconds. Okay, this is uh, St Peter's Square, with St Peter's Church to my left, and just round the corner here is the Mine Hill stone where he, King Arthur chopped his head off he angled it's there there it is nice flat top on it put your head on there and bang there you can see there mine he angled on this stone the legendary King Arthur is said to have beheaded he angled brother of Gildas the historian his rival in love and war <laughs> so that's it Mine Heil Stone in uh, St Peter's Square. This is the highest point of Rithin, St Peter's Church. It's so, alright, I'll show you um, Nankluid House now. May as well on the way because I'm heading towards 
Rithin Castle. So I'll show you that there, just through, through that arch there. That's Rithin Castle. And I'll show you, because well, I'm passing Nankluid House. It's the oldest timber framed house in Wales. It's where the judge used to live at the Assizes Court, which is just down the hill. As I say, if you're interested, I've gone through all, all this. This is just a little short, short walk. As being a carer, I thought one of my tasks this morning was to go to Tesco, do a bit of shopping. I thought while I'm riffing, do a bit of a video. You know where I'm like. Any excuse. I don't need an excuse anyway. But uh, Nankluid de Dre. Quite a big, big house, big place. And as I say, you can see the timber frame there and that. The oldest timber framed house in Wales. Nankluid de Dre. I think you can pay to get in and I'm not too sure but anyway just through that arch there where that van's <coughs> coming out that's Rithing Castle and that's haunted as well <laughs> almost forgot to mention that then so yeah I'll show you the uh, bit of Rithing Castle oh yeah and just before the arch it's uh you look through a little well it's a thing, it's like a little thing on the wall if it's still here and you look through and it's what what the ghost is, what the ghost looks like in Rithing Castle. Is it still here? Where was it? It was somewhere here. Oh, there it is, there, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> you're famous. You missed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh, if you look through there, I don't know if you can see that, the grey lady. If you look through there and you, sh you see, you see what the, uh, but the ghost is haunted by the ghost of the grey lady. So as you can see there. Rithin Castle. <laughs> Which is haunted. Did I not mention that? <laughs> right. There's a friendly old chap there then. Looking to be on the video. So yeah, this is Rithin Castle. Or the grounds of Rithin Castle. I'll show you. Gardens too. Oh, I'll show you the gardens now. As I say, you know, if you're, if you're interested, I've done this tour quite a few times. Because it's, it's a really interesting place, all everything. There's the actual castle there. Um, it's like a hotel and receptions and stuff like that. I'll just give you a quick look at the gardens and then the front of the castle, and that'll be it then. The stock's still there. <laughs> stock's still there, but it falls a bit. Right, these are the, the gardens. This battery is lasting quite well. And a peacock, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the resident of Rithing Castle. So this is the gardens. Just to give you a quick look at that. With the uh, regulation fountain in the centre there. So yeah, there's Lady, Lady Grey's grave, but it's always locked, and it's haunted by the ghost of the Grey Lady. And this is it, Lady Grey's grave and dungeon, but it'll be locked. It's always locked this gate. So anyway, I'll just show you the sign. There's uh, two Lady Grey's grave and dungeons, but it's always locked up. Huh? It's always locked up. Oh, I'll just show you around here too. It's a hell of a drop. So this is the grounds and the gardens of Rithing Castle, which is haunted. Just in case I've ever mentioned it. <laughs> so yeah, just over here now is a hell of a, hell of a drop. Just show you a quick look. Look at that. That is one heck of a drop. Right, I'll just show you. I'll just head back and I'll show you the front of Rithing Castle and that'll be it then. Alright, let's just make way. I'll just give you a quick look at the front of Rithing Castle with the uh, stone lions guarding the entrance. So yeah, this is what I do every so often in my care I've been a carer now for many, many years. And one of my tasks, my many tasks, is I do shopping, and today's the day I'm shopping in Rithin. 
to Tesco and I just thought I'd have a quick excursion just to have a quick wonder about and do a little video. <laughs> I don't need much of an excuse to make a video but uh, this is what I thought I'd do and you see the stone lions are. I'll just show you the fronts and then that'll be it then. So there's the, uh, there's the cock tower there. <coughs> so this is the front front entrance of Rithing Castle. It's like a hotel and reception, they have wedding receptions and stuff like that. So I hope this battery doesn't pack in, but I do have spares because it's noted this battery just, just packs in on me. No warning, it doesn't bleep or nothing. But anyway, there's the uh, front of Rithing Castle. There's the two lions guarding the entrance. So that's it. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Being a carer, this is what I do every so often. I just make a little video if I'm out and about and what have you. So that's it. I'll head back down to the car. So I hope you enjoyed it as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.